Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out the video. Southside Braves here. And today for you, I got week two of the YCL. Uh, coming off a loss in week one to Squid. Lost 3-0. Looking to bounce back this week against Bishmi. A coach I have got to play a few times. I think we're pretty even in our matches, to be honest. I think I, think I won the most recent one when he had a mono water team. Uh, he's probably won the one or two before that. Uh, my memory's not great, so I don't fully remember, but I think we're probably about even in our matchups together. Uh, he's a good guy. Make sure you go check out his channel and his side of the battle. But yeah, that's who we're going up against this week. He did pick up a win in week one. So he's 1-0. I am 0-1 going into this game. And that being said, let's take a look at the team I'm bringing. Uh, I don't know why this week, but for some reason, my names all got cut off. Uh, getting my Pokemon into the game. So, yeah. So this is Kisner. I am bringing a Torkoal again. Excuse me. With Heat Rock. It is a defensive Torkoal with Earth Power, Solar Beam, Stone Edge, and Rapid Spin. So, just having the coverage to hit some things, even without any investment, still does some decent damage. So, yeah. That's the move set we're going in with with Torkoal. Next up, we have Top and Penny making its debut. It did not come in week one, and that was probably a mistake, but I don't know. It wouldn't help turn against Volcanion anyways, because Volcanion gets Sludge Wave, so I don't know how much Top and Finny could have helped. But we do have Choice Specs Top and Finny with a little bit uh, mixed spread here. And then Shadow Ball, Moonblast, Blizzard, and Scald is the moveset. And just Choice Specs, we're going to go try to hit hard with Top and Finny. Uh, I don't think you see Choice Specs Top of Finny very often. Uh, I've ran it once or twice before and liked it, so we're going to try to make it work. But yeah, that's Top of Finny we're going in with. Next up, we have Carlson the uh, Claydol making his debut. Uh, drafted Claydol in the second round of the draft. A uh, very high pick for Claydol, but it was a lower tier mod and I knew I kind of wanted to use this season, so I went ahead and got it. It is going to be leftovers. Uh, also, a little bit of a mixed spread here with Earth Power, Solar Beam, Rapid Spin, and Teleport. I'm bringing the Sun with the Torkoal, so I'm going to rock the Solar Beam on it. And yeah, nothing too crazy there with the Claydol. And we have Lightning Rock making his debut. Uh, bringing Lightning Rock without the Sand, he's plenty fast without it. He outspeeds most of my opponent's team. So, yep, this is Fred Bird Lightning Rock. And we have Max Attack Adamant with Steadfast, because again, we don't have the Sand, so we didn't need to bring the Sand Rush. And we have Stone Edge, Excel Rock, Sucker Punch, and Iron Head. Honestly, I'm probably just going to be clicking Stone Edge on most things. Uh, but yeah, that's the spread there. Then we have Cardinal, the DNC with Rocky Helmet, Max Defense. And it is Diamond Storm this week with Stealth Rock, Heal Belt, and Reflect. Uh, yeah. I thought Diamond Storm was really the only attacking move I would need on DNC this week. That I really saw coming in handy. So, yeah. After that, it just has Stealth Rock and then some supportive moves. And lastly, we have Aeronauta the Charizard coming back this week with Life Orb. Max Special Attack, Modest Solar Power. With Flankdar, Ancient Power, Roost, and Tailwind. So yeah, if we can get this thing on the field healthy with the Sun, possibly get an Ancient Power boost, that'd be fantastic, and then just put in some work with it. But man, with Life Force, Solar Power, do you lose health quickly? I'm going to hit hard, but it's going to hit hard on to me too. So we're going to see how much work we can put in with Charizard here. Hopefully more than last week. So that is the six. Uh, yeah, I feel like I need to talk about them a ton, but that's the six I'm bringing against Bishmi. And we'll go ahead and go get connected, and I'll catch you guys over in the battle. <laughs> All right, so here we are, connected to battle here. Um, yeah, and Bishmi bringing a couple of mons I didn't really expect to see. The Swarlix and the Ivysaur being two of them. The other four I kind of uh, expected to see. Uh, the Crobat. Do not. 
Um, who do I want to lead? I think I'm just going to lead Tapu Fini. I think it's kind of safe to do that. That's what I'm going to go with. Good luck to Bishmi. Have fun. I uh, hope it's a good battle. I need a win coming off last week's loss. Alright, let's see what he wants to lead here. Uh, hopefully all my audio... Wait, the thing sounds a little loud. I'm gonna turn that down just a bit. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know a ton about this Pokemon. I'm just gonna click Moonblast. What we're gonna do, we're gonna see what this does. All right, so he's sashed. All right, so he just gets up webs with it. Okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna fire off another Moonblast. Oh, wow. That sucks. That sucks what you just did there. Okay. Well played. Well played. There's the ditto. Okay. So, what do I want to go into against my own Tapu Fini? Ooh, Tapu Fini destroys my team, actually. Oh, dang. I did not... Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. I think I have to go Torkoal. Yep, we're gonna go Torkoal here. Don't care at Torkoals. And, uh, Vicky Web. There's the Scald. Should do probably about a third or so. Okay. Alright, and we are going to rapid spin these webs away. Let's get these out of here. Oh, and he brings in Aegis Slash. Okay. And he is the Air Balloon. Did see that. Oh, do I bring in Charizard here? Yeah, let's go for the Charizard play. <laughs> See what he hits me with here? Battle Ball. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just roost. Yep, there's the King Shield. We're gonna roost on that. Now we're going to fire off the flamethrower. Right, 
but who's taking this? He's gonna go into Charizard, okay. Still some pretty decent damage. Um, I'm just going to play it safe. Um, I think I can safely just go into Deancey. I'm just going to go into Deancey here. This plane goes. It's still going to hurt. We're going to go ahead and get a Brox. He's gonna play door again. Uh, and he dies in solar power. That's two mons down. Ditto and Swarlix. Who does he bring in here? Brings the Age of Slash back. I'm just going to try to get a Reflect up. I know it doesn't help against Aegislash, but... Okay, so we do know... Uh... Okay. So... Here. Trying to think here. Gosh. Dang it. I don't know what I want to do. I'm gonna go Lichen Rock. We're gonna go Lichen Rock. And we're just gonna Sucker Punch, just to be safe. You can probably King Shield, probably his play. He does switch, okay. Alright, so this thing is going to be Eviolite. Uh, we're just going to go into Torkoal.
get the sun back up, which actually gives him access to Solar Beam if he's running it. He's expecting me to bring the sun. Alright, we are going to switch right into Charizard. We're going to go straight into Charizard here. Does go for the sludge bomb? We're gonna go ahead and roost. He outspeeds Charizard. What? What? He outspeeds my Charizard. Oh, he's chlorophyll. I set up the sun for him. He's chlorophyll. What am I thinking? Oh, well, that's... That was quite dumb of me. That was very, very dumb of me. Oh, that's unfortunate. I know Venusaur has chlorophyll, I never even think Ivysaur chlorophyll being a problem. Oh, that's real unfortunate. Real, real unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna try to rapid spin. We're gonna have to get rid of those webs if we want any chance. Now we're just going to click Stone Edge and die. Ugh, he's using the sun against me very well. So, how much can he do to like it or Can he kill? Uh, building is my only real play here. Just go to Lycan Rock, click Stone Edge. Yep, there's the Giga Drain. Don't kill. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. That doesn't either. Uh, gosh. Dang it. Uh, oh, I played this so poorly. I set myself up so badly. I'm just going to go clay it all. Getting wrecked by an Ivy Sword. Is it the last turn of sun? Yes. I'm just going to teleport out. We're going to go back into uh, Lightning Rock. No longer outspeed, and I'm going to fire off the Stone Edge. Uh, 
And that menace that is that Ivy Sword is gone. Here's the Aegis Lash again. <laughs> uh, Sucker Punch isn't going to kill, and I have to. Okay, Claydol has got to go down here. There's the Shadow Ball. And kill Claydol. We got to bring in Tapu Fenny. Bring in Tapu Fini here. Uh, who does he have left? Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna fire off Shadow Ball. We got that Shadow Sneak. Okay. That's gonna end up being game. He had the Shadow Sneak. I have to Stone Edge. Yep. Alright, well played, Bishmi. I'm gonna get my second 3 0 loss of the season. Gosh dang it, all because I forgot about Ivy Sword having freaking chlorophyll. Oh, what a dumb mistake. What a dumb, dumb mistake. Uh, I'm very disappointed in that loss. I played very poorly there. I needed Charizard and I threw Charizard away to a frickin' Ivysaur. Uh. Alright. Well, that one's disappointing. But uh, we're gonna bounce back next week. We still got plenty of games left this season to turn it around. We are putting ourselves in a hole starting at 0-2. But yeah, we're gonna look to bounce back week 3. Hopefully you guys stick with me and come back for that video. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm just pointing that performance. But we're going to turn it around next week. All that being said, hope you all have a good night. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.